today recipe we are going to make an oil dog, a breadfruit and I am going to go outside in the backyard and get this breadfruit and I'm going to cut out just the heart of the breadfruit because that part you don't want in your breadfruit and I am going to cook this breadfruit down but we're not going to cook it the traditional way so stay tuned as I cook this breadfruit. Breadfruit is picked, washed, and cut up. Now let's go through some of the ingredients. I have some salt, celery, some ginger, lots of ginger, lots of garlic, carrot, small thyme, onion, and tomato, sweet pepper, pimento, coconut milk. And I am I have like four tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to place my onions to let that cook down a little bit. Once it has come translucent, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. I'm also going to soak up some of that butter. I am using a salted butter in this process. So then, once that has cooked for about two to three minutes, I am then going to add the rest of ingredients. To this pot you can add any types of seasoning and vegetable you wish to this then we are going to cook this down for another three minutes make sure everything is coated well in that butter this is the only type of oil uh, beside the coconut milk that we are going to use we can safely say this is a vegetarian meal okay so now I'm going to add my breadfruit typically you cut up the breadfruit smaller but in this recipe I am not so here I add some peppercorns, some salt, and clove, and two whole pepper, hot pepper. And I'm going to toss everything around, make sure everything is coated with the butter and the vegetables. And once that is coated properly, like you're seeing here, you want to now add in your coconut milk to the breadfruit that I cooked. This two small breadfruit, I added four cups of freshly blended coconut milk basically you want to make sure that the vegetable is totally covered in your coconut milk then I went outside and picked a fig leaf I am not using taro leaf it is typically done with taro leaves while the taro leaves will break down and get into the dish and everything comes together this as I said is for persons who don't like taro leaves or just can't eat that it scratches their tongue so we're going to exclude that and we're also going to do this meatless no type of meat in this it is normally cooked with either pigtail or salt beef or you could even add crab I have seen some people add crab and chicken to this actually but traditionally it is done with pigtail all right so I'm not using no meat, I'm not using no taro leaves. So that's why I said this is not traditional. So at this point, when I decided to cook down and the breadfruit started to break down, I wanted to taste for salt and I adjust if I needed to adjust and it didn't need anything and I let it go along a little bit till it becomes a little more creamy. Then I pour and serve. It all depends on the size of the breadfruit and how full the breadfruit was. It will take to cook properly, but it typically don't take more than 20 minutes and you pour and serve some people don't like their breadfruit with too much of the sauce in it so this is how some people will like it but listen to me ladies and gentlemen when you enjoy a good oil dog and you add all of that good creaminess from that coconut milk and all those flavors this is here right here this is how i like my oil dog with a lot of that creaminess all right so we finish making our breadfruit you saw how I did it and this recipe was just basically for those who don't like or cannot eat taro leaf or as we would say dashi mush leaf in the Caribbean mm -hmm. and for those who don't eat pigtail or don't like pigtail so let's give it a try Creamy from what I cook that milk, just enough salt. The breakfast was perfectly cooked, very well seasoned. I must say, you can add salt. Just give me a minute.
you can add salt to suit you you all heard all of the ingredients that was used it was it's really good really good and best way to enjoy this is really hot and steamy I used for two small breadfruit I used four cup of coconut milk but basically you just want to make sure all of the breadfruit is totally covered in the milk and you season with your salt and as you go along you continue to taste now if you're using like the pigtail or any type of salt meat you would not want to add salt because you remember those meat are already salted so you want to be very careful with how much salt you're adding but as i said this recipe didn't have any of that so that's why i keep adding salt through the cooking process and in less than 30 minutes this was cooked because this breadfruit cooks really fast this is like a a grafted breadfruit to some degree because it isn't it doesn't grow like big like a normal size breadfruit will grow this one will be full at a really young young size it will look really really young but it's really full so this is a grafted breadfruit but it's really good and i do hope you give this i can safely say awesome vegetarian recipe a try so you also after i had my coffee that's when i started this and i had I was washing my hair so you all remember that um rice water that i made so right so i just apply that to my hair and i rinse it out and i'm just i put something like a conditioner versus a conditioner i'm doing a whole separate video for chocolate and chit chat on this process anyway guys thanks so much for watching another episode of candace corner and i didn't think i would have enjoyed a breadfruit without taro leaves are without any type of salt meat or whatever in it but it was really good because it have all the creaminess of the coconut milk and all of the wonderful vegetables and aromatics so it was really really good and enjoyable do have a blessed one bye